Jane Evans, The Lasting Life Change Coach. How do I get my partner, mother, mother-in-law, um, parents, friend, whoever it is to change or to see my point of view or to understand where I'm coming from? Why can't they? Why won't they? <laughs> this is honestly, I get so many messages every week about this and many of my clients as well. Once they get the realization, oh my goodness, it is um, perfectly possible to show up in life in a much calmer, more grounded, more compassionate way, whether it's for themselves, hopefully first and foremost for themselves, um, their children, maybe towards their partners, just everyone, then of course, understandably, they want it for everyone else. And that can often be where the frustrations come in. In fact, I just had another client message me today saying, so I use this uh, example of when you have evolved in some way, it's like, you know, you've become this lovely rabbit and you like to hop around and you know that being a rabbit feels great and you get to live in rabbit land and it's amazing in rabbit land and you, you didn't know it before because you'd never been there because before you were a rock. So when we are rocks, we tend to be very fixed in our opinions, very fixed in our views, very react in the same way all the time. Um, it's it's a pretty repetitive kind of life and we don't we don't budge very easily. Um, but when we're rocks, the thing is that we don't know we're rocks because our anxiety and our fears often literally keep us kind of frozen in a similar way of thinking, re reacting, behaving in the world. And, you know, that's okay if you don't know you're a rock, it might not be fun for other people. <laughs> but when you start working with, with me or with someone like me, you begin to evolve, hopefully. If you're, if you're working with the right person, if you work with me, you will definitely evolve. Um, you begin to evolve and you realize, oh, I don't have to be fixed and solid. I can become much more flexible, much more flowing in and out of life. And before you know it, you have morphed into a very beautiful, contented rabbit that gets to move around and view life in a very different way for yourselves, but for everyone else. And then from this newfound rabbit hood, you look at the rock. It might be the rock you live with. And you, you do love the rock, but now you realize, oh my goodness, they are very rigid. They're very um, critical, maybe. They don't seem to be able to join you in being a rabbit because they're fixed in their ways and they want you to go back to being like that. So it's really easy then to become, yeah, critical, judgmental, um, kind of sad sometimes for the rock and, and wanting to force the rock to be a rabbit. And that's where the pain can come in, to be honest, because the, the thing about the rock is, remember when you were a rock, you didn't have an awareness necessarily that there, there was the possibility to be or do anything else. So for someone, the first step for all of us actually is to have any kind of awareness that maybe there's a possibility to behave and think and show up for yourself and in the world in a different way. Now, people who are very anxious and full of fear, they don't have awareness. It's, it's not possible because fear and anxiety keep you trapped in very strong rigidity and or then being chaotic and then going back to being rigid and you just move between the two. And again, think about yourself. This may have been you before. Um, there isn't any room for awareness. In fact, you're usually hypercritical of everyone else. So without awareness, it's going to be impossible to support anyone, you know, in having change. In fact, they will probably fight you on it tooth and nail. 
So, you know, how I often explain it to clients is, I know, I know you want them to be on the same page with you. I know that you need them to start to understand more the emotions-based language that you're using and the joy of what you're doing, creating your inner calmness and becoming this more grounded, reflecting, compassionate human being. I know you want this for them, but you cannot make a rock be a rabbit and even if you bring it rabbit ears to put on and you bring it some lovely carrots and you try and convince it about how amazing the carrots are it, it just won't work honestly and truly I mean I tried it myself personally many times it, it can't work and it doesn't make them bad people it usually makes them just really really scared people highly anxious people who cannot just become rabbits just like that. So what can you do? So the most important thing I do when I work with people around this is I say, okay, let's focus in on you, okay? The more that we create compassion in you and calmness in you, then actually you'll become less reactive to the rock, less frustrated with the rock, less impacted by maybe their critical things that they say all the time or their huffing or whatever it might be. We cannot make a rock be a rabbit, but we can focus on making you the calmest, most internally expansive, grounded rabbit there is. And then you will be able to live in this beautiful, peaceful state and sometimes it allows the rock <laughs> to just become, you know, get a little bit of fur, maybe a little furry tail. But if you keep going with your frustration to the rock, then you're never going to allow that person in any way, shape or form to evolve. So often what we focus on is your beliefs about this other person. So if you remove your long-held beliefs about them, oh, they always do this, or they're never going to listen to what I say, or I know when I talk about this, they're just going to deliver that same lecture. Well, if you hold those as really strong beliefs, you will be right forevermore because they will do the same. So, focusing on you and making you the most spectacular rabbit we can, that's where the real change will come. And then if the rocket, rock, rocket, <laughs> um, rock, that was a merger of rock and rabbit, has any capacity to come into some kind of self-awareness, then you create the space for them to be able to do that. So I hope that's helpful and I hope that reduces some of your um, frustrations around this because you can waste an awful lot of emotional energy holding resentments and frustrations towards the rock and that will change nothing.